the guys, Kelvin, Karchin Company in New Zealand. And Jason. So he's a bit grumpy because he's putting his hands in places he doesn't want to put his hands and he's got he's got big gorilla hands and they don't work so well in little tight spaces. You're not good in the dark? <sighs> anyway, very, very quick one. And we see this quite a lot, and I have guys contact me and they tell me that they've got VVTI faults. There's problems in the VVTI system. And I asked them, has it just had a cam belt? Like this one, look, it's an aftermarket belt, but that belt is new. If we look down in there where the water pump is, it's new. And this one has a new VVTI solenoid. But when we connected the scan tool, it still had faults. So who wants to know what I find the most? And this is on the VVTIs, of course, and the 3UZs. They come up with cam performance faults, or the system isn't performing. I should actually remember the codes, but it was yesterday. There's a lot that happened since yesterday. Do you remember the codes? No. Here we go. Not a port of right, We've actually got the check light come up. We've got VVTI camshaft sensor. VVTI camshaft sensor both sides, both left and right. That's an issue. That one's not new, but that one is new. So something's up with that. What we find is there is the mark on the bat on the uh, pulley, and there's the mark it's meant to line up with. Let's zoom in a little bit, eh? I'm going with they try to time it off the T. There's a red dot and a red dot. Mm, maybe. Wherever no, they tried to a time red it. Dot and a red dot on the well, they didn't get it right on the T either, because it's halfway in between. So they really didn't get it right either way. If they were aiming for the T, they still got it wrong. And this is the VVTI thing, sorry. Insert googly eyes from the Happy Gilmore, dude. What do we got? We got to me. Okay, so there it is. We've lined. Oh, there it is. Good. We've lined it up on the TDC. And there's the lining up there. As you can see, it's no not correct. So it's it's meant to be. Oh, oh. I'm fading. I'm fading. It's fuzzy. Oh, yeah. So when it's on the T TDC at the bottom, when it's on the TDC at the bottom, it should be on the line. Okay. This is only when you're doing the belt to stop the cams flicking. So it should be lined up with the, this one. So that mark on the pulley should be lined up with that. As you can see, it isn't. And this one should be lined up with there. So we're about to try and just pop the tensioner out, flick it around a little bit, and hopefully sort it out. So there's a warning for you. You've just had a cam belt done, and it comes back with cam timing faults. Or variable cam timing function performance circuit performance there's a good chance that the cam timing is wrong and I, I probably see this about twice every month guys contact me with this exact problem did you see how that was done Jace? Well, mate, I was just like, you were watching? I wasn't watching I was... <laughs> look at this okay we're still on TDC down the bottom and I just Pop the belt round one tooth there, and and hey, wait, and wait. The, wait. Oh, you want to go wait? Yeah. You want to you want to take some credit as well? Helped. You helped. Without me, you couldn't have done it. I disagree. No, without me, you couldn't have done it. Without you, I couldn't have done it. Well, you wouldn't have a tension I would have had to do it myself. Yeah. That was the difference. I would have had to do that shit myself. So I just showed Jason the, the, the tricky way of just slipping it around very carefully. He's going to put the tensioner back in. He's going to, then he's going to rotate it two turns and he's going to recheck that the marks on the pulley on the VVTI line up with there. Because this is about good working practices. We won't, we won't mention that mess over there. It's another day, but this is the bit we're working on. Actually, how did this vehicle drive? It went really, really well, eh? It was like nothing, nothing, nothing. Woohoo! Let's go! Yeah. 
Yeah, that's how it was. So, so 40 miles an hour, you get into it. Yeah. And, and, and it worked out what I wanted to do. Yeah. It, it did the big risk test. Yeah, so it was no bottom end power and then lots of top end power. Yeah, yeah. then the check light came on. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope I've said it enough that line it up with the line. Line it up with the line. Uh, if you put the belt on, do your two revolutions and, and line it up with the line. TDC at the bottom. Line it with the line. Hope that's been helpful. Talk to you again soon. From problem? No. Do a couple of reps? Yeah, definitely sounds better. Funny when you put the cam timing right, how it sounds better, eh? Yeah. Excellent. It's a wrap. <laughs>